course, for, for the next game, they're going to come round thick and fast, as we know. But how are preparations sort of going for this week, with it being the home game? Yeah, they're going really well. Um, the boys have looked bright in training. And I think they're excited to play at home, um, considering the away following we had at Rochdale. So hopefully we'll get a nice crowd for them. I um, know preparations are going well, um, no, no fresh injuries or anything like that. So um, no, looking forward to the game, Graham. Well, last week, of course, you selected the right team and it won the game and everybody was involved. How difficult is it once you've played the game and won and you've got seven or eight other players probably waiting their chance to be considering them? You have to make sure that you, you're spot on with, with all the players in your squad that you know perhaps we might need to change, we might not need to change. Yeah, that, that's, I think, something that's been mentioned in the past. Um, we might have to select a team um, for different games. Um, it's important. We've had various chats with the whole squad and individuals that they're the ones in waiting and preparing as best as they can, working as hard as they can um, for when their opportunity comes. Um, that could be Saturday, it could be Tuesday, um, but the, the players um, and tactical work will be based on what we think is best to go and win as a football match. Is it key from the management side to, to get that right, you know, not sort of distance those players who are not in the starting eleven? Um, of course it is. Um, it's not about 11 players, it's about the 20 odd we've got in the building. Um, we're all in it together, all the staff, players, we all feel like reading in the right direction. Um, and, and if we're all honest and open with each other um, and see a commitment from both sides in terms of what, what we're delivering to them in training, the lads who aren't quite in the team and what they're giving back, I don't think we'll be, we'll be far wrong. One thing we also picked up on last weekend, Lee, was, uh, I don't know if there's anything in it, but we were always watching things and probably better talking about things that happen off the field than on the field for, for our benefit. But we spotted that all the management team were out very early after the half-time sort of chat, if you want, if you want to call it. Was there anything in that or, or were we just picking up something wrong? No, nothing in it. Um, small dressing room, a lot of people in it. No, I think the manager delivered his message over to the players. Um, it's, it's to give them some time as well to, to talk to each other, move around the dressing room freely. Um, you don't want to bash them with loads of messages all the time and confuse them and, um, and try and outthink things. And, uh, but no, nothing in it, nothing in it. It was a hot dressing room, just going outside where it was a little bit more open. Gives us some time to speak. Did we say the right things, etc. What will we do if this happens? Um, but no, nothing in terms of they didn't get a rocket or anything and we left them in there certainly from not, none of that no nothing in it no, not at all time I wouldn't yeah. play in the first yeah. half either we wondered what had happened to him and what, wouldn't, <coughs> what is needed to please you but uh, this time last week unfortunately it was a bad day for Dave Richards but it, 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 the news come on and it wasn't as bad as first fear to bring us up to date with that and obviously what he's done with Tom Booth he's brought him into the first team set up that must be great for him teenager getting all the feeling of a match day experience. Yeah, and uh, he's a good goalkeeper, Graham. Um, he, he's, a, he's a good goalkeeper, so again, all these experiences um, will, will help him. Um, he knows he's close, he, that, that's the way it is, he, he's, going, he's close. Um, Dave had his operation Tuesday, we won't see him for a few days, just recovering the infection, etc. You've got to make sure everything is done right in, in that terms. But then he can come back in and start getting involved, he'll be involved in the, the passing practices, etc. and possession and I believe a few days after that he can, he can start handling the ball, so really pleased with the outcome in that. Um, he's, he's fit and well, sent some messages, he, he wants to get back tomorrow if I'm honest. Yeah, and the one thing that has helps you as well is you haven't had to go and bring in an emergency goalkeeper, you know, you've got confidence in, in a young lad, he's getting experience by being with all the first team players and it doesn't tie up a, a sort of another move in, in the numbers. No, that, that's, that's it, we, we won't be bringing another goalkeeper in. <coughs> um, that could change obviously for different reasons, but we won't be bringing another goalkeeper in. Um, I think it's good for Boothy. Um, like I say, all the experiences will help him, um, but, but no, Boothy will be back up at the minute for Arthur. Let's get to the game then, Harrogate, as Alex pointed out here earlier, <coughs> I spoke to him, you know, don't disrespect Harrogate, they, they're in there, worthy team to be in there. The facts and figures that we look at, you look at all sorts of things technically and all that about how they play, but they got a great start. I think they 
They've only lost one in the first 13 games last season. They're renowned to be good stars. Yeah. Proved last week, 3 0 winners against Swindon. Yeah, um, and they've got some energy about them, Graham. Really well organised, experienced manager, been at the football club for a long time. Um, you watch them, they all know their jobs. Um, real honest bunch of footballers. Um, and they really worked their socks off. I was impressed with them against Swindon, how they played. Um, you know, it was a really well thought out, thought out 3 0 win. Um, some obviously really good finishes, but no, a good team, aggressive, um, can play at the right times when they need to. Um, lots of forward runners, high energy. So we've got, we got to match it in more. Well, you can't wait because it's that first home game. You, you've come off the back of a win, and it's one of those that you can gauge. There's no doubt about that. It's all for the coming up. I know you take it one day at a game at a time, but those are the games that you gauge where you are. But just a, a message from your managerial team because unfortunately, a bit of a minority of support, fantastic support, you know, nearly 900 or so at Ross Hill. We'll just, just spoil it a little bit with uh, certain celebrations. You don't want to hear that. No, we certainly don't. Um, a great day out. First game of the season, um, a lot of excited people. Um, but then, what we don't want is is that happening. Smoke bombs going off, whatever you call them. Um, you know, I believe someone was really put ill poorly from it. Glad that they're recovering well. Um, but we don't. And in the end, what will happen is we'll all get punished for it because it's it's going to happen. It will happen. They are clamping down on it. Um, any of that type of behaviour, um, it'll end up points deduction. That's where it'll go because they, they want it stopped. They've been in, briefed the club, they want it stopped. So go and have a good time, go and enjoy yourself, support, have a great day out, home and away. Just be mindful of what you're doing and the impact it can have, not just the football club and that, but someone sitting next to you. Um, kids at the game, they might not want, don't want it. We certainly don't want it. Um, but have a good time, support the team, have a great day, cut it out.